identified with Christ. And we no longer live, but Christ lives in us. Uh, the life we live in the body, we live by faith in the Son of God, uh, who loved us and gave himself for us. Uh, even when my money gets funny and my change seems a little bit strange, uh, when my family members don't understand and when friends walk away because they don't understand, uh, through Jesus, I can continue uh, because I've got something on the inside, uh, working on the outside. Uh, oh, what a change in my life. Uh, something on the inside, working on the outside. Uh, oh, what a change in my life my life. I've got the Holy Ghost on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Uh, I've got joy on the inside, working on the outside. Uh, oh, what a change in my life. Uh, the old folks used to sing it this way, Miss Mariah. Oh, 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 uh, what he's done for me. Uh, oh, 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 uh, what he's done for me. Uh, oh, 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 uh, what he's done for me. Uh, I never shall forget uh, what he's done for me. Uh, when you don't forget what he's done for you, then you can testify, Jesus, I'll never forget uh, what you've done for me. Uh, Jesus, I'll never forget uh, how you set me free. Uh, Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Uh, Jesus, I will never never forget oh never 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 do I have any witnesses in here has Jesus done anything for anybody that calls you not to forget what he done? God I thank you I thank you I thank you so Jesus like bread y'all is nourishment uh, finally y'all uh, knowing Jesus uh, is a noteworthy experience for all who desire to embrace him. Andre, did you hear what I said? Jesus is a noteworthy experience for all who desire to embrace him. Uh, that is, he is distinguished. Uh, he is eminent and he is outstanding. Uh, look at it, verse 27 through 29 says, uh, do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, uh, which the Son of Man will give you. On him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. Uh, then they asked him, uh, what must we do to do the works God requires? Uh, Jesus answered, the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. Uh, Jesus pointed out that there are two kinds of food. Uh, food for the body which is necessary but not the most important. And food for the inner man which is the spirit which is essential. Uh, what the people needed at this point was not food but life. And life is a gift. Uh, for food only sustains life, but Jesus gives eternal life. Jesus says that if we believe in him, we will never thirst. Dr. Grant, the word believe in Greek points to one who has moral conviction, whereas thirst is associated as to one having a craving, a longing, a desire, or a need. And when we act in this manner, uh, this can be defined as meditation. Uh, Y'all remember the psalmist told us in Psalm chapter 1, uh, Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, uh, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in that law doth he meditate day and night. Uh, meditation is when one engages in contemplation, uh, one who focuses their thoughts on a particular thing. Jeremy Taylor put it this way, uh, meditation is the tongue of our souls and the language of our spirits. 
Uh, believing in Jesus is essential for our spiritual being that cannot be sustained without him. Uh, Jesus professes that if we believe in him and have an intimate relationship with him, we shall never thirst. Uh, Jesus will supply the water needed to sustain us in every aspect of life, both now and forever. Uh, John 4.14 4 says, but whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Do I have a witness? The psalmist put it this way, I will bless the Lord at all times. Uh, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Uh, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. Uh, the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Uh, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Uh, blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Uh, I guess I go to my seat. I leave you with the great hymn by Jack Schofield. Uh, he put it this way. He said, I found a friend uh, who is all to me. Uh, his love is ever true. I love to tell how he lifted me uh, and what his grace can do for you. Uh, he saves me from every sin and harm, uh, secures my soul each day. I'm leaning strong on his mighty arm. I know he'll guide me all the way. Uh, as a result, y'all, I can declare that I'm saved by his power divine. Y'all, I'm saved to new life sublime. Uh, life now is sweet yeah, yeah. and my joy is complete uh, for I'm saved. I'm saved. Uh, do I have any saved folk in the house? Uh, do I have anybody that can declare uh, for God I live and for God I die? Uh, I'm saved by his power divine. I'm saved to new life sublime. Life now is sweet and my joy is complete uh, for I'm saved. Uh, whenever I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, uh, I don't know about you, but my soul cries out, hallelujah. Uh, I'm grateful. Uh, I'm thankful. Uh, I've been on my sick bed for two days, but y'all, I'm saved. And as a result, I'm here today to declare that what God, what the devil meant for evil, but God will turn it around for my good. I'm grateful. Are you grateful today? How many of you know that he's all that you need?